When adding and subtracting integers, there are only two simple rules to follow. Rule number one, if the signs are the same, add the numbers. The answer keeps the same sign. Here's some examples. We've been dealing with this our entire life. Four plus six equals 10. The reason this is true is because the four is positive, the six is positive, so we add both those numbers. The answer is 10 and it keeps the same positive sign. Let's take a look at the next example. We have a negative four plus a negative six equals a negative 10. If you look immediately to the left, the four is negative. If you look immediately to the left, the, the six, you see the negative sign. Both of these are the same sign, so you add them. This becomes a 10. They keep the same sign, which is a negative. Here's another example of the previous equation. This is negative four minus six equals negative 10. I wanted to show you the difference between these two equations. This one has a plus sign. You're adding two negatives. This one you are subtracting from a negative. The only thing you have to consider is that the sign to the four is negative, the sign to the six is negative. They are both the same sign, so you add them. The answer keeps the sign. Rule number two. If the signs are different, subtract the smaller number from the larger number. The answer keeps the sign of the larger number. Here's an example. 10 minus 4 equals 6. The 10 is a positive number. The 4, a negative number. Because these are different signs, subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. The answer keeps the sign, this positive, of the larger number, which was 10. Here's another example negative 10 plus 3 equals negative 7. I look to see the sign of the 10, it's negative. Then I look to see the sign of the 3, it's positive. If the signs are different, subtract them. 10 minus 3 is 7. Now I look, the larger number is a negative 10, so my answer keeps the negative sign. Here's an example where you have multiple negatives. Negative 10 plus 2 minus 3 equals negative 11. Look to the left, a negative 10, a negative 3. I'm going to combine those two because they are the same sign. 10 plus 3 is 13, so our answer keeps the sign of a negative 13. Now we have to deal with the positive 2. We have a negative 13 and a positive 2, so we're going to subtract those two numbers. Our final answer is going to be a negative 11 because the negative 13 was the larger number and had the negative sign.